Okay, so some points here on 1.7, accuracy, limits, and approximations. Well, the first one is got to do with significant figures. And what they say here is the number of significant figures in an answer should be no greater than the number of figures justified by the accuracy of the given data. Okay, so the significant figures in the answer shouldn't be greater than that in the given data. So the example they use here is a 24 millimeter side of a square bar. So that's 24 millimeters and 24 millimeters. And um, and you go and calculate this. You, you calculate. So this has two significant figures, two significant figures, and you multiply it. What you'll get on your calculator is this 576. But as you can see now, this has got three significant figures. So the answer of your, the, the, the number of significant figures of your answer can't be greater than the number of your given data, the original data. Two, there's two here. So there should only be two significant figures. Okay, so that would be the answer in this example. But the principle is that the, this, the answer can't be more significant, you can't have more significant figures in the answer than you, you do in the original data. Then you can read through this similar ans um, similar argument here. Uh, they say accuracy to three significant figures is considered satisfactory for most engineering calculations. <clears throat> In this text, answers will be generally shown to three significant figures unless the answer begins with the digit 1, in which case the answer will be shown to 4. Okay? Alright, that's all I needed to sh talk about there. Now let us move down here. Uh, small angle approximations. Small angle approximations. If we have a very small angle in a calculation, then we can approximate it this way sine of that angle is simply equal to that angle, right, for small angles, small angles. Sine theta is equal to theta, okay? Why do we say that? Because for small angle, okay, so say now the hypotenuse, we have a triangle here, and the hypotenuse is 1, the length 1. So what is this arc length? What is that arc length? We know the arc length S, or X, is equal to R theta, if you remember. S is equal to R theta. The radius is 1, and the angle is theta. So we have 1 times theta is theta. So that arc length is theta. It's simply equal to theta in this specific case, right? Uh, if you've got 1 there. Okay. But if we... Let's look at this right angled triangle okay so you can see that 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 line over there is close to the arc length right that vertical line the opposite right and so we know that if this is theta then this line is equal to sine theta but we just saw that um, and so this length of sine theta is very close to the length of of that arc length which is theta so that's where it comes from sine theta is approximately equal to theta and then uh, for very small that's for small angles and then again for small angles cos theta right that length of that line there is cos theta and for very small angles you can see that that cos theta is simply um, equal to 1. Okay? So, use those two for small angle approximations. Alright, I think that's all.